Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and in today's video we are going to create this summer style text reveal animation inside of After Effects. It's very easy to create and we are gonna do it without using any third party plugin. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and for this animation we are going to use this illustration and you can download the project files from the link in the description in which I have arranged all of these layers and I have made the necessary changes that are required for this animation. So make sure to download the project first. So after you have downloaded it, you can open it up and you will see there are a bunch of different layers which we are going to animate. And you will notice one more thing that I have already placed their anchor point at the very bottom, something like this, so that we can rotate them, something like this. So now let's begin. Now, first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these layers except the background. And then I'm going to press S for scale. And let's add a keyframe for scale. And let's move this to somewhere around two seconds and then press R for rotation and let's add keyframe for it as well. And let's move it to two seconds as well. Now I'm going to quickly do the rotation animation for individual layers. For that, all I have to do is just simply select the layer and I have to check which layer it is. And then you can rotate it however you want. You can make it come from this side or from this side. It's completely up to you. For this example, I'm going to make it something like this and let's select the second layer. For this one, I'm going to do the same thing. Just rotate it so that it's not visible in the frame. And for this one, we can do it something like this. Just keep on doing this with all the layers, just like that. Now let's move on to the next layer. So this one, we can make it come like this. If you see a little bit of area, then you can probably move the layer a little bit up. And let's just quickly do that. So we are done with it and if I play back you can see that all the leaves are coming in and we can add some animation to the scale as well. So once again select all the layers press S and in the beginning I'm going to set the scale to 0 for all the layers and after that just press U twice on your keyboard then select all the keyframes then you can press F9 to ease ease them or you can right click keyframe assistant ease ease after that let's go to the graph editor. And if your graph looks different, then make sure you are in the edit speed graph, not the value graph. After that, we can select all of these endpoints and let's just change the graph to look something like this. So this that's it. Now we can go out of the graph editor and let's press U again so that it will collapse all the layers. Now, if I play back here, you can see we have this really smooth animation of all the leaves coming in. And you can see that after the animation, all the leaves remain still, which is not what we want. So we can add some expression in the rotation. So for that, select the top layer, press R for rotation and hold on the Alt key or Option key. If you are on Mac, then click on the stopwatch. Then you can type the expression. Just type wiggle 0.2,20. Now you can select the property and then go to edit and just click on copy expression only. After that, you can select the alternative layers. So you can see that I'm selecting the alternative layers and just keep on doing that and then you can go to edit and just paste it now if if i press u you can see that all these layers have the expression now let's add the expression to the other layers as well so i'm going to select the second layer and let's press r on this one we are going to just type wiggle again but with different parameters so on this one i'm going to type 0 0.1 comma 25 so that we have a little bit of variation again you can select the effect or the keyframe then go to edit copy expression only then again select the alternative layers which are left there you go now go to edit and just click on paste so now if i play back here you can see that we have this really nice animation and after that all these layers are moving a little bit something like this which is exactly what we want now let's add our text for that i'm going to select the text tool and then you can type and just type whatever you want i'm going to type summer vibes it's completely up to you you can use whatever font you want i'm using go bold regular after that let's select this and let's align it in the center if you're not able to see the align panel then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it you can select the layer hold down the control key and just double click on this pan anchor tool so that the anchor point is in the center now we can select the text layer press s and let's scale this up Let's move the timeline indicator so that our text is visible. Now let's give it some texture. For that I'm going to use the effect called Roughness Gis. 
just search for it and drag it onto this layer and on this one we are not going to do much except we are going to change the scale to something like 70 after that we are going to add the expression to the evolution so that we have this really nice animation throughout the timeline so for that we can just simply hold on the alt key and click on the stopwatch then type time times 400 and now if i play back here you can see we have this really nice animation or you can set this to 500 maybe so yeah, i think this is looking good now let's add a really nice reveal to this for that we are going to create a new solid so you can just simply right click new solid and just click on ok on this one we are going to apply fractal noise so just search for it and drag it onto this and we are going to increase the contrast and after that let's go under the transform and let's increase the scale as well let's increase the contrast something like this now we are going to animate its brightness so in the beginning i'm going to set this to something like this so that the whole scene is black and let's add a keyframe and let's move to around two seconds and let's increase its value so that it's white now something like this and we don't want this to be a static reveal so we can add some animation to the evolution as well so again hold on the alt key and just click on the evolution stopwatch and that type time times 300 if that's too fast so yeah i think this is looking fine so we can work with that now once you are done with it we have to select our text layer and make sure your track mat options are visible if they are not then you can click over here and you can make them appear after that we are going to set the track mat to luma mat so that you can see that we have this really nice text reveal now if you want to play around with the speed you can just move these keyframes closer something like this so we are done with the text animation and let's add a really nice wave kind of pattern over here for that we are going to select the pen tool and let's draw a very rough shape just click over here something like this just like that now I'm going to select this layer and I'm going to apply fill or you can just simply click here and let's change its color to match this one. After that we are going to change the mode to multiply so that we have this really nice dark color. And let's apply wave effect onto this wave warp and let's drag it onto this. So you are not able to see anything for that we have to increase the height and first let's set the pin to all edges and then let's increase the wave width quite a bit something like this and let's play around with the angle as well so i think this is looking fine now let's just play around with the wave width so that we have this really nice wave and now if i play back here you can see we have the wave going on and if it's too fast then you can change the wave speed to something like 0.2 so I think this is looking fine. You can also add a little bit of transparency animation so that it's not visible in the beginning. There you go. Now we have this really nice animation and there is one last thing that you can do. You can add a adjustment layer and you can add a overall zoom animation in the beginning, which will really enhance your look. So just search for it and let's search transform and drag it onto this layer. Now let's add a keyframe for scale and let's select the layer, press U and let's go a little bit ahead and let's add a zoom in animation and we can select the keyframes, press F9 and let's go to the graph and make sure your graph looks like this. So now if I play back, you can see we have this really nice animation. So all we have to do is just arrange the keyframes just like that. So now you can see we have this really nice subtle animation of zooming in or out. You can also use your logo so instead of text layer you can have uh, your logo as well and it will do the same reveal here and you can do one more thing you can add some drop shadow to the text to make it really pop out so just simply search for drop shadow and let's drag it onto this and let's play around with the parameter and let's move the distance to something like this and we can probably play around with the opacity just like that so it's completely up to you, you can play around with these values. 
so i think this is looking fine so this is how you can create some summer vibe kind of animation in after effects like this and if you have any queries or questions then you can ask in the comments below also the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you can consider it and you will get access to the tutorial project files and some exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one